What's going on? Welcome back to another episode of JL Fishing. Today, we're going to go fishing. It's raining right now, but it should be done raining by the time I get off work. So, I'm on my lunch right now. Came home, got my camera gear, fishing rod, one rod, one bait, one reel, and one line too. That's all I'm going to be throwing is a jerk bait. A jerk bait is going to be the ticket, I believe. Been thinking about it all day at work. I think I got some tactics in my head, ready to go. But I'm going to a pond that y'all have seen before in the past, but I enjoy fishing it and I love hanging out over there. So my plan with the water rising because of this rain, it's not gonna be as high right now as it will be two or three days, but it's gonna be on the rise. So them bass will be like whoosh, on their way up, you know what I'm saying? So they're gonna be shallow. So a shallow water jerk bait is what I'm thinking about right now we'll see if that plan will hold together y'all want to see something funny real quick <laughs> check it out old skeeter got him a buddy got him a cowboy come here all right guys made it to the water check it out Oh man, she's beautiful, ain't she? It's pretty cold out here. It's probably low 40s. I'm bundled up. Got my muck boots on. And uh, it's going to be quite windy, so I hope the audio is real well. But what I got with me is a Quantum Accurist 610 Medium top water jerk bait rod. My favorite rod to throw uh, really light reaction baits on. Oh yeah. And also, I upsize the line to keep the bait from going down as deep. Normally, traditionally, You'd throw eight pound line to reach maximum depth with these jerk baits, but I think this is like 15 or 16 pound sun line. So it'll keep the bait a little bit higher than it would if I threw eight pound. Oh man, had one right there. I saw the bull. These fish are freezing. I know they gotta be cool. They're gonna be real lethargic. <laughs> They're gonna be real lethargic. Water's got some color to it, so that's why I chose white. You choose white in jerk baits when the water's murky. Also, that clown color they have in a few jerk baits is good too for muddy water, but I've always just went towards white. Got one. Forgot to start recording. Had to go back to the truck and get more GoPro batteries. Got a little old bass. Boy, that thing's cold. Another good tip about throwing jerk baits in the wintertime is be prepared to have to slow way down. Like these fish are really lethargic, don't want to move as much as they would say in the summertime. It's also good to have nice and clean rod twitches too. You don't want to sit there and pull it or do anything of that nature. You want nice and clean, just pops. That makes that bait dart a whole lot more radically than you would. I got one right there. Oh yeah. My favorite way to work a jerk bait is one, two, one, two, three. One, two, one, two, three. That's my favorite. And I can slow it down if I need to or I can speed it up. Get in the boat. Just always be careful because you do not want one of these hooks in your hand. That's for sure. There we go. If you see them winding it down, probably like five or six, seven cranks, something like that, that gets the bait down. You want to do that because you'll get the the full efficiency out of the bait. 
Like you don't want it to start working it as soon as it hits the water because it won't look right. But in order for it to look right, you got to get it to the, the the depth it's meant to be worked at. You know. Try it by this lay down. Water's a whole lot more cleaner over here. That was the only one I brought too. All right guys, this day has ended very abruptly and it's 100% on me. That was the only drape bait that I'd brought. So I have nothing else left to throw. Unless I can whittle something out of a stick or something. I appreciate y'all watching. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. We'll see y'all later. Bye.